they used to play each other at Fire and Dice way back in the day. It was mm -hmm. common for Scizor to make the drive from the Yemen Empire all the way to the Valley. Uh, Scizor did talk to me on my stream, actually. He was telling me how he's been training. So he's hoping to get top eight today against Zenyu. He kind of had an interesting record with Zenyu back in the day. It was kind of like, kind of close. And Scizor actually played a lot against a lot against Master Mario way back then. Well, so, we'll see if he gets those Z-Drop uh, combos that you, you see on Twitter all the time. Yeah, the uh, the Izak bomb fair loops. It's called the instant zero attack cancel into the fair order, and they can confirm into up -ease. So they are very, very dangerous. This is Link's quote-unquote wave shine mm -hmm. for your melee aficionados out there. It's a very, very hard tech to master, and it's something that should be practiced for every up-and-coming week. It separa it's what separates the boys from the men in this one. Yeah. All right. Let's see how this goes down. I dig the choice of color from Caesar. I think that's really, really nice. Wait, does it say he's sponsored by Zan? <laughs> so so Caesar has a joke that he's adult Zan. Oh, okay. Zan was too like is it was too mean back Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, okay. Anyways, already doing really well so far. I mean, R started with that boomerang into mm -hmm. a combo into the fair, and he just continued on after that. Being a Lickman myself, this is really good for Scissor to demonstrate himself using Boomerang to call out from Zenyu from going for aerials. Sometimes Mario loves to approach with aerials, so the thing for Scissor here is making sure that if Zenyu does come with an aerial, he has to fight Boomerang. Very similar to how we saw Marvel's Marco play against Floppy. Mm -hmm. Okay, gets a back throw. Bomb at the ledge. What are you going to do? Nope, <laughs> he can't do that. The bomb bounces four times and it has a continuous hitbox through that. Exactly. And when all projectiles were nerfed in the previous patch, Link's bomb was not. So it's uh, projectile damage is it's the same all across the board. Oh, but okay. okay. It, it, it was, that's actually yeah. <laughs> he's he's got all that gear on him, so he's got to be a little bit more heavy. But there we go. The falling fair. That's gonna be able to take out that first stock. That was good to go ahead and toss the bomb upwards, forcing Zinni to have to worry about that. Nice. He's missing in his nair timing. The reason why is because if you get the nair on the right confirm on the shield, you can convert off of it. You'll send your opponent to tumble for options. Mm -hmm. All right, Caesar knows how to get around his bomb. Is he able to come back around? Yeah, knowing Caesar, he was a very much a uh, a bomb type of player back in uh, Smash Four. Oh, 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 okay. Somebody pressed the start button on Max in here. Wait, I guess uh, pause is supposed to be off. Like, yeah, that, that's like. I'm pretty sure they'll change it off. It, it's, at this point, they're playing, and since I accept, I already lost the stock. There's nothing I can do on that one. Yeah, that was that was just weird, though. Like, I did not expect that. Maybe he was mashing so hard that he accidentally pressed pause. I don't know. Yeah. Try to SDI that. The one thing that we did see from Scizor try to go there at the situation was a ledge jump back air, because it could have led to another back air into an up B. Mm -hmm. And that was a really good option to have Zinnia, especially at the ledge. You have to watch out for up B, because it does kind of have a little bit of a blender effect, where it'll scoop you to the front hand, and then it'll kill you from there. All right, Scizor demonstrating really good, pretty much neutral here. He's making sure that if he's around Zenyu, he has bomb, and he could be trying to go for the instant zero attack cancel bomb for use. Yeah. Oh, okay, there we go. That's another setup that you can use with bomb. It's just like drop it down and then get weak nair. I mm -hmm. remember watching that from uh, French Tutor's videos, uh, like on his different bomb setups, so shout outs to him. Yeah, French Tutor, one of the link mains from Tri-State. Really, really great teacher of link mains. Definitely check him out. I believe he has okay. a YouTube. Yeah. yeah. Ends it with a landing there. Okay, but there we go. Spin attack. One of the stronger moves from Link, especially in the beginning of the meta, but not so much right now, but it's still a great auto shield option or just to get off me tool. You just got to be careful about it since if it only has one hitbox, so if you shield it, then you're kind of an open, open book at that mm -hmm. point. I do like how Scissor is starting to, use, starting to use forward air. He went for a full hop forward air because the second hit of fair will be enough to actually hit Zenyu and kind of catch him off guard. Like I said, he's using that boomerang to call Zenyu from going for aerials, but he finally gets the cape. Scissor playing this very methodical. He knows he kind of has to play this a little bit patient. There's a tech and the tech roll, and Zenyu will be there for the grab. Alrighty, let's see if he gets back. Nope. Double jump, just caught there. Oh, the lasting hitbox dash. Yeah, he's still able to recover. Yeah, Zenyu didn't go for the edge guard there. Okay, back in with bomb in hand. Yeah, he tried to go for a little bit of a sneaky. Yeah, not quite happening there. Nice, I like it. Doesn't want to be at the corner there. He likes for the air dodge. He won't receive too high of a punish. Yeah, this is always a good mix-up to do. Is like like wave land. Like back around your opponent, tries to cross up because sometimes they don't expect it, and then if their character was short range, then they don't really have a tool that they can react to to catch them off guard like that. So mm -hmm. nice. I like the slow play. He's keeping the neutral. He doesn't want to overextend. 153. He knows he's got Zenyu a little bit on the ropes here. Yeah, have him catching the gr uh, grabbing the bomb that messes up his uh, A attacks. 
Nice. And I love the little bit of a dash back to kind of sneak the bomb in on Zenyu. He missed the nair at the ledge here, but he kind of knows, okay, if I'm gonna, he's going to come to me, I'm going to try to whip punish him, but I have the bomb towards center stage. Oh, he tried to go for it. Oh, oh he, he tried. Yeah, yeah, he, he was he, trying to do it, man. Yeah, he tried. Not quite going to get it there. Just going to get up smash for his troubles. But he still got himself a decent lead. Mario can make up the damage, but it's going to be a matter about who's going to be able to get the kill is the main question. For those of you guys wondering, uh, other Link mains here in Soka, we do have Nacho. He does really, really good with Link. He's taken a couple names under his belt. He recently sponsored, got sponsored by a DCG alongside with HLB. We have Arrow, who was a student from Scizor as well, and they've kind of, they're really good friends. Actually, all three of them, all four Link mains. Yeah, Link mains, they, they, they unite for some reason, yeah. man. Something about that Triforce of Courage. I'm telling you, man, we, we just enjoy hanging out with each other. Oh, Zenyu's having a hard time getting himself in. There we oh, go. Nice. But yeah, he's going to get crossed up and. The spin attack gonna be able to close that out. And that's usually Link's go to option out of shield. Especially, it'll either be a B or an air in terms of the frame being right here. It's one of the best options he has. Sometimes you'll see an up tilt, depending if he gets crossed up because the up tilt does reach behind Link. But it's usually a B or an air. Yeah. I mean, Zan looking like. Oh, no, excuse me, not Zan. Caesar kind of looking like he slept 100 years and now he's ready to fight all evil right now. <laughs> uh, he does, dude. He's been in the. He's been, look at the serious face. I love that. His name is Joel, so we have not Joel and little all, Not all Joel and it, it, was that was that on purpose? Or? <laughs> no, no, no. It's okay. just the tag he came <laughs> Okay, up okay, with okay, okay. His real, his real name is Brian, but his real name is Okay, Joel. okay, okay. Got it. Alright, let's see what happens here. Switching to the black Mario this time. Then you're going to his uh classic color. Original color, yeah. Yeah, Silver Age comics Zenyu. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, what we're watching was Golden Age and now we're going to like Bronze Age, Silver Age. Yeah. Right here. Scizor have been looking very much like the Silver Age. He was actually number one in SoCal back in the 3DS days. I don't believe you. Yeah. <laughs> Larry, Larry, Larry can tell you otherwise, man. Oh my! Oh wow, great. Edgeguard used a Nair setup again. It just being able to use the bomb to be able to set up in that type of angle and that speed is really vital to a character like Link because you can cover so many options with that and yeah. he used it perfectly there. Correct. Goes for the up tilt, nice. And he sees he doesn't have to go for another one. Xenio's a little bit spaced away from him, so he goes for the boomerang. I mentioned it, near out of shield, common link option. Okay, finish off with up B. How's he get back around? Nice. He gets at the opportunity where he's able to auto a little bit cancel before it lands. So he doesn't get the end light from the down here. Mm -hmm. Might have to pull bomb for the bomb recovery, and he does so. Yep. If you Z drop, oh, okay. So you have to pull out the bomb, then you have to wait for Link to put the bomb to his hip, yes, and then you can correct. Z drop, and then uh, do whatever the heck you want after that. The timing is very, very crucial there for that option. Nice. And that forces Zenyu to kind of stay a little bit at the ledge because he has to respect the bomb. Zenyu, what he's losing here to a lot is actually the bomb, and the bomb fair loop begins with only the first one. What a great confirm there. Scissor demonstrating how that works really well. Mm -hmm. And in addition to, you know, how he pressures Zenyu with the projectiles to force and stuff his movement, Caesar himself is also mixing up his movement and his neutral very nicely. A lot of times, like, if you're playing a zoner type of character... Oh, no! Oh, oh Zenyu, no! no. He, you mentioned it. He mixes him up so well to the point that Zenyu just lost that one. And unfortunately, Ooh. it'll be Scissor's game. 